Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda with your three little sisters of mad. Now, uh, I did this. Wait. Moving out. Wait, that's the wrong thing. How do I tell you not to move there? Are you gonna follow me now? I went through the codex. Didn't see what uh, ever I was supposed to be unlocking here. Uh, I went through the journal, looking at everything I can see. And for some reason that's still not marked as red. I'm not sure why that is the case. Maybe it's because I still have missions to finish. And I also have unlocked the... Uh, wait. I have more points to use. It costs four points to get one of these. It's just... Do I want the radius or do I want more... Yeah, they seem to cluster together at times. And I want uh, that as the next step. Also, we have our team. Yes, confirm. Just go back. We have our team. Gora has three points. Let's see what he can do with those three points. Ah, you only have a limited amount of abilities anyway. Is that right? I might as well just punch up some then. Nowhere where I can put that one extra point, so that will wait. And Liam, what do you have? You also have three points. And you have the exact same issue. What is this? Sure. Okay, so... Wait. No, that was not the button I was meant to hit. Go ahead, stab people. It's also what I like to do. So it's incre incredibly relatable as an action. Alright, so... I think we're supposed to go in here. Well, what do you know? The Outpost Research Center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here too. We're not scavenging anymore. This is how we rebuild. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source. And maybe whoever else is looking. Those eyebrows getting in the eyes. Get a little bit weird at times. Anyway, we need some titanium so we can do nifty things with it. Tried out the new pin design on the shelters today. Only time will tell if this, they actually hold together when the next storm rolls over. At least it should be easier to find the pieces this time. Shelter is pitching for an evac back to the Nexus. Too many get not enough water, no hope. He says, I'd rather sell supplies and sleep on the deck than lie awake listening to storms one more night. Can't say I disagree. Losing three of my guys to the get made me wonder about them too, but I asked him what I asked myself. What's back on the Nexus for Pioneers? Is the years what we signed up for? It has to be. Ooh, some elements here. Don't mind if I do. What do we have on this terminal? Power relay. Acknowledge. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. Now, okay, what do we have? What do we have for shotguns? Disciple shotgun. And what that uh, tested the impact? That's what we are currently running. Oh, there is a way to sort. That's cool. Anyway, I what is in the development? Is this where I can upgrade things? Oh. Okay, look into it at some other point. I'm not entirely sure right now. No, maybe no. Let's let's try and upgrade that uh, shotgun. Let's see what happens with that. 
So, out of curiosity, how heavy would a... Ooh. Get out of... Oh, right. Just hit space to continue. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay, so... What I want to see here... Is a weapon, and I want to see shotguns. Grogan hammer. Ooh. Um. And there's an Asari sword. So yeah, while shotguns are all very nice and something I do want. Ooh. Yes. Okay, these look all very, very good, but I do want that sword. Give me that sword. Ah. I don't have the points for this. What do we have for here? Dihan, Hesh, Naladen. These all look like uh, stuff out of uh, Warframe. Which is fair enough. What is this? Punitive emulation works on a similar principle as get firearms and mechanical core. In this case, a blade maintains a magnetic field containing superheated plasma. Lacks the cutting power of a monomecular weapon and ignites its enemies instead. So, this is the, their. Monocular weapon? And this is now actually something I can craft. Cool. And I'm... I'm not high enough level to do the other one. Nothing available here. Okay, let's develop a sword. Where do we keep it? Not here. Melee. What's a biotic amplifier? A special spine amp manufactured in the Milky Way's Ultron Labs allows a user to essentially wrap a mass effect field around their fist and strike up opponent with enormous, often staggering force. Oh, I see. So this is like for when we want to show off our other options. Well, yeah, I don't have the resources for this, but a biotic amplifier? Sure. We're just gonna name it that. Cool. So development is just for building things. Well, this is where we can research new stuff. Cool. Uh, I only know weapons for this, right? Oh no, I can make get fusion armor or Helios defender armor. And there's a lot of augmentations available. Alright, well, that's cool. Uh, we have crafted something that we can't use right now. And that won't actually change anything for us. Yeah, I think this might be what we're looking for. When it comes to the truck. Special requisition all-terrain scout rover. A nomad. Six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. The initiative only built a few. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several of... So we're currently in orbit. Well, you could have finished the sentence, mate. Me running doesn't mean you have to stop talking, Sam. Yeah, take that van vanadium. What's here? They divided the rations again. Tonight's menu soup with a couple of crackers each. Hope we're not too hungry to prop up the south building tomorrow, but there's nothing else for it. Can't forage because the weather's there. They can't grow crops in these winds, and the Nexus can't feed us and themselves. No, don't think about it. There's talk of going around and getting back to the Nexus, but if we can't find an answer, who can? We dare to put our footprint here. We were first. Me and T promised to stick it out. Even if we end up being the last. All these challenges, 
And the colonists still tried to tough it out. They didn't know what they were in for. They weren't told. Sam and I could have helped them. This won't happen again. This is where we were before, right? Activating automated forward station deployment. Oh. I see. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. That's why he stopped talking, because I was already too close to the objective. Gotcha. What can I talk about? What can I do here? Oh! I can change my loadout. I can switch my only plate for a biotic amplifier, so I can punch differently. Right. Um, I can also take a look at armor, wherein I have this deep space exploration option. As well as Deep Space Explorer armor. Uh, but no, no arms or legs that are different. Alright, confirm loadout. That's fine. You look very... I'll say golden. Though we don't have the shine. Because we are not shiny. Right, so... Is the keypad? He's a bad boy. Does it have guns? Can I do shit like with the mock of it? Also, apparently, there are blueprints for it, so I should go check them out. Development. I have some blueprints for the car. Improved suspension. And vertical thrust upgrade. Both of which require resources I do not currently have. Uh, but anyway, I was told that the smartest thing to do is immediately maximize the car upgrades, because... We will live in this car. Oh my God. Should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Ooh. You want to do a check reverse? I'll do that. Okay, so we want to go where? Up the hill? Sounds good to me. Ah, I can't get traction. It's too steep. Switch to six wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. How do I switch to six wheel drive? Like that? I'm stuck here now. Oh, new Godex entries. Technology research and development. And I also got some minerals from some. Ah, uh, oh, some. Our first source of vanadium. That's a biodisinfectant. Cool. So imagine that. It's just right click. Also, I see red markers on the map. Remember the Nomad's jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. <gasps> if you need more juice, the boosters can accelerate you out of trouble. Got it. Signals coming from that structure up ahead. You? Cool. Did I drive over that? Maybe. Wait, not the one I wanted. A colonist from Site 1. Radiation got her. We knew some were lost, Ryder. We weren't told they were left. Wonder how many are out there. Too many. Lexi, 
Update Nexus records on Avante, Teague, and C. And get a recovery shuttle out here. Good idea. If she's got family, they deserve closure. I wonder if I missed some in we'll the give them more than previous site. We'll finish what she started. You see that over there? That's valuable. Am I close enough? No. With the other hand, how long does my... Oh, E is what I used to collect. Let's get back inside. There's some more minerals over there. Radiation levels increasing. Needed that ESO. Radiation levels normal. Thank you for keeping me up to date, Sam. Is this what I think it is? Okay, that is what I thought it was. Let me put away my weapon again, because I'm not supposed to keep my weapon out right now. I think. I'm picking up initiative tech nearby, from above us. I see it, up on that piece with the scaffolding. Where does this lead? Oh, right up there. Let me read this again. Okay. Well, this is also scannable. Coolant. Do we want to check upstairs first, or do we want to check here first? What is this? Sam, help me out here. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols, glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. So we do want to climb up there, don't we? Oh! Sounds to me like this friendly is a book food. I may be wrong. I might not be friendly. Mm. I jumped over it. Not my intention. Let's get over here. It's slippery, but there's a great view. Could be crazy enough to carry heavy equipment up there. That should do it. Too sophisticated for a salvager. Who else is studying this place? Alright. Let's go science. Yeah, Mr. White. Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This what happened when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Off or I will push you down. Rex. Whoa, easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. Okay, I'm gonna wait. It's going to be all right. Trust me, okay? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? And what about you? Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. I might just be the solution to all your problems. Well, look at that.
System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh crap. Automated oh, defenses? From Habitat 7. Later! Just take them out! Oh I didn't remember these. Excellent, I can punch bots now. Hi, I'm here to punch you because I'm Master Punch Bot. Oops. Hi bastard! See and that's why I like playing Vanguard. <laughs> My first tangle with the remnant was a lot messier. The remnant? These monoliths, the Observer and Assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the remnant. Like, my name's better as PB. Thanks for helping with those things. I'm Ryder. You're a mystery. I've been studying those glyphs for months, and then you arrive and... Pff, solved. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping you could do the same for EOS. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough. Sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. How did you get here? Who are you? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Got a night show. Ooh, look at that. That's a nomad. An exploration vehicle designed for field deduction. Nice. I like that. There's some more remains here. Uh, Sadly, unscannable because at this point. What's this? Initiative shield mast. Right, of course. I like that the initiative took the time to shield this area. Very convenient for me. Okay, so PB, are you still here? You are. I'd like to. Probe your mind for more information, if possible. Fascinating, huh? Oh, this is the kind of stuff that gets you out of bed in the morning, too? Uh, absolutely. Solving alien mysteries on hostile worlds? <laughs> Do you need to ask? <laughs> A man after my own heart. Follow my nav points, figure out those monoliths, and we can both get some answers. Uh... Is PB a typical Asari name? Oh, you know things? Good for you. I know other things. It's a name. Good enough and short enough. For now. Atmosphere change? We're hoping this tech can fix the atmosphere and make EOS livable. Think it's possible? Yes. Maybe. Possibly? This tech is so new. I mean, old here, but new to us? Who knows what it can do? How old is it exactly? It's been dormant for centuries, which I guess isn't actually that old huh but long enough for conditions here to get royally screwed up if they really are connected right uh, I finally understood the layout it's as if I actually put my hand on the numpad which is far how did you get here after what happened with the outposts I didn't expect to run into anyone I had a ride I had to fudge the flight plan a little the Nexus didn't want to risk anyone else. Or let people see how rough it got. Sad. But there's still so much here. And some of us want to find it. We didn't come all this way to sit on our hands. Fair enough. I think this jacket is available in the XCOM packs I used. <laughs> Remember thoughts? The bots we're seeing. You had names for them? I had to call them something. The observers fly around spying on anyone who touches this tech. The assembler ones make other remnant. Not sure how yet. 
Maybe manufacturing or 3D printing. And breachers smash into anything they don't like, which is us. Easy to remember. Is anyone else camped out on EOS? There's the Ket, Clancy Salvagers, and one angry old man. Who do you mean? Let's just say he's here to squish Ket and doesn't care whose gear he tramples. Well, I'll head out. Yes, so much to investigate. Let's get to it. Yes, indeed. Okay, well, I'll continue that next time. So thanks for watching. I'll see you then.